Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a little bit of comparison between the .1 caliber slugs versus the 25 caliber slugs. Um, so the slugs that I'm going to be using are the 19.5 grain varmint knockers and 17 caliber. Uh, I think there are 17 grain LDC Griffin slugs and for the 25, I'm going to be using the NSA slugs, 33.5 grain slugs. So basically in this video, I'm just going to be doing a little bit of comparison between the energy dump on the target <clears throat> and expansion test. Um, I'm not going to be able to <clears throat> do any expansion with the 25 caliber because it's not really going to expand um, with the targets that I have. So yeah. Um, that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm also going to be shooting um, the .177 slugs at a slower velocity to kind of uh, um, show what they can do at longer distance. So basically my Nova shoots them at upwards of a thousand feet per second, which um, about 200 yards or 190, 95 yards. They are still carrying 20 foot pounds. So, my Benjamin Maximus is shooting 20 foot pounds, around 25 foot pounds at the muzzle, and at 30 yards, I think it's shooting like 20. So, that should be a pretty good example of uh, what the slugs can do at longer distance. So, yeah, um, I am going to be shooting cucumbers, and let's get to the video. Right now, we're going to be testing out the um, varmint knockers. 19.5 grain slugs, 0.177 caliber, and we are also going to be testing out the Griffin Ammo 17 grain dish base LDC slugs. So here are the LDC slugs. I'm not sure if my phone is focusing or not, but you can see they do have a little bit of a cup, and these are the other ones from uh, Barman Offers. So I am going to be shooting. Um, I'm going to be shooting something right now so we can check out the expansion. Let me show you the velocity I'm getting with the 17 grains dish base Griffin ammo. So I'm going to go put you down range. And first, we're going to shoot with the 17 grains Griffin ammo. And then the second shot is going to be with the barman knockers. And I will write down the velocity of uh, the shot. So, yeah, so I'm going to be shooting right here. Boom, right there. You've seen the hot Tsunova. And then let me show you what we're going to be shooting at. We're going to be shooting at these things here, um, which which they are, uh, what are they? I um, can't remember the name of them. We're going to start with the 17 grains, and then we'll shoot the 19 grains. So here we go. So this is going to be the 19 grains, the two uh, kind of uh, expansion we get. Uh, so this is going to be the 25 caliber Air Force Condor. Here we go. Alright guys, so these are some of the velocities I was getting with different uh, pellets and slugs. So I started out with the Air Force Condor 25 caliber shooting the 33 grains at a thousand four hundred. I mean a thousand forty five uh, forty five feet per second. Then I shot the 17 grains at a thousand twenty seven feet per second, and then the the 19 grains at nine hundred and seventy four feet per second. So, yeah, pretty cool. 
All right, so now we're going to be shooting the 0.177 slugs um, at 20 foot-pounds at the muzzle. And at 30 yards, this should still be carrying um, 19 foot-pounds. So basically, the Nova shoots the slugs at 40, 41 foot-pounds at the muzzle. And the slugs are still carrying about 19 foot-pounds or 20 foot-pounds at about 190 yards to 200 yards. So this should be a pretty good... Um, example of what the slugs can do at a longer distance um, just keep in mind that the slugs did go through the first pumpkin and they did stop at the second pumpkin so maybe if you're shooting a varmint um, they would have the same expansion maybe um, they would probably they might go through or they may not but they would still expand pretty nice because it has bones and other stuff so yeah um, let's continue Now we're going to be shooting with the Benjamin Maximus at a slower velocity from 650 feet per second to 720. I am going to write down the velocity downrange. Um, we are going to start with the 17 grains and then we'll shoot the 19.5 grains. So let's see what we, what we get. So, as you can see, both of the slugs did expand. Um, I think this was the Griffin slug, 17 grains LDC. I think it was this one here. And I believe this one here was the 19.5 grain slug. Um, let me show you the velocities I was getting with them. And then we're going to try to dig them out from the pumpkins. Okay, so here are the velocities. So this was the 17 grains Griffin ammo at 729 feet per second. And this was the 19.5 bomb knockers at 698 feet. So I'll see what's the full pound. So I'm not really sure what the full pound is. So yeah. All right, guys. So here are the 0.177 caliber slugs. This one here is the... 19.5 varmint knocker i believe as you can see it does have a flat base which was right here so the wound cavity i'm guessing it was from here it went through here and then it stopped right here so this is this is where it is and then this one here is the 17 point i mean 17 grains ldc griffin slug so it started through here and then it stopped all the way down here so this one traveled just a little bit longer than this one did so let's take it out and as you can see um it did mushroom pretty damn good let me put him here so that's that's the difference between them two as you can see this is the barman knocker and this one is the ldc griffin slug 17 grains ldc yep so that's going to be it for today's video I am going to be doing more videos um, comparing the slugs, the .177 caliber, 22 and 25 caliber slugs. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's video and I will see you in the next time. Peace.